I do wonder if it's possible for us to just chase that probe down. All right, it's about time we fully explored our solar system, and that means, finally, heading out for the interloper. Now, I imagine that this body is going to be a little bit more difficult to catch uh, due to the fact that it is a comet and not a planet. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Outer Wilds. And man, last time... We didn't learn as much as we hoped from Dark Bramble. I mean, we learned that it is indeed a scary place with possibly some kind of quantum nonsense going on. But I think in order to really gain the full context, we need the interloper. I'm getting that bug again where the left stick doesn't work to lock onto it, and I keep forgetting how you actually achieve it. Now, I don't remember, since I haven't actually heard anything about it since the very beginning of the game. Is the interloper something that would have Nomai structures on it? Or is it something that only recently entered the solar system that's only just been detected? I think it might be the latter. Especially how it seems to start on the edge like this. Now I wonder, if we get caught in its trail, does that cause any problems for us? Uh, let's try and see what kind of angle we can get on it. See if there's any landmarks or points of interest as we approach as well. Ah, there is something down there. All right, now let's roll ourselves and try to make a landing. This is right on its tail and that actually looks like it may be a Nomai craft. It is a little bit hard to bring it down. Let's, uh... Landing camera. There we are. Smoothest landing we've had in a while. We're the first. We're the first to land on the interloper. And just like we were the first to land on Dark Bramble last time, but not that that really matters all that much. Not like anyone but Gabra would believe us anyway. Now, what is this? This is troublesome. Oh, it's Clary. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. And if we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? This is the one! Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. Oh, we know what happened to you. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Okay. So we can recall this shuttle, and maybe that'll dislodge this? Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, it was actually still encased in the ice when it landed at uh, Ember Twin. Okay, so let's continue to explore this common, I suppose. Uh, the only question is where to start. I think we can leave our ship right here safely, and I guess our best bet would be to make our way around to the front. Oh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. We are passing very close by to the sun and potentially being affected by its gravity. Because I'm having a difficult time keeping my footing here. Then again, I am on ice. Now let's see where the rest of them did end up. Ooh, the ice is actually moving across the surface as well. Constantly changing as it goes by. That's a little bit weird. Uh, this is a little bit more... A little bit more easy to make out, but... I still can't see anything of note. Alright, well, since we did just recently pass by the Hourglass Twins... 
I think maybe we head back or wait. Why am I not seeing a signal from my ship? Where'd my ship go? Well, that's a problem. Were you taken up by the sun's gravity? Let's see if we can't make this. Maybe we can make something happen here. Uh, I will need to fix this bug right now, though. All right, 10 seconds. Thought you'd get away from me, huh, ship? All right, buckle up. Back to the twins. We are a decent way away from everything else now. All right, we should still have enough time to make this happen, to recall the shuttle and bring it back to the interloper. I always end up buckling myself back in by accident. All right, back over here. We do still want to make this quick, though. Back down to here. Uh, something else that I love about this game is how often you find different stories in parts. I mean, we've been aware of this for the entire playthrough, pretty much. Here you are. Now it's time for us to get going. Uh, boop, boop. We should also refuel our jetpack before I forget. Really easy to forget that it doesn't do it automatically when you get into the ship. Uh, okay, so that's you. Let's take off and see if we can't find the interloper again, uh, which last I saw was off towards Giant's Deep. Now, I do wonder, can we get any kind of signal from the interloper itself? No, it doesn't seem so. All right. Oh, and I've allowed myself to get entirely too fast relative to it. I caught up on that way more quickly than expected. All right, let's just miss it, allow it to pass us by, and regain our speed relative to it. There we are. Now we can get back there and see if maybe that ship wasn't covering something. Nope, we want headlights on. Maybe there's something else we can find here. If not, it was worth a shot. Let's just come up here. Man, how did they even land on this thing? It's not an easy task. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Let's take our ship and start... Nope, out of, out of my way, ice. Let's take our ship and start moving around it to try and see if there's anything more to this. Because jetpack far too slow for this task, I think. I think that's about all there is to the interloper, unless we find something new. Uh, which means that I think what we should do next is head back to Giant's Deep and have a chat with Gabbro. A lot has changed since we last talked to him, and... Ooh -hoo -hoo. I do still want to maybe see if we can't uh, figure something out with that inaccessible platform in the chamber. You know, just for the heck of it, let's just see what Autopilot will actually do here. Yeah, we're slowing down now. Now, like I've said, I am recording a lot of these well in advance. Like, I think episode three, like, just went up. I've just started editing episode five at the time of this recording. But, like, I feel like when I don't use a feature, people think I just, like, don't know that it's there. I'm flying because that's, like, half the game. And it actually does feel really good to fly. Okay, so it'll only go as far as getting me here. Uh, which is fine by me. Uh, let's go down here. I guess once it becomes less for fun and more about like, okay, let's just get this done, uh, it'll save some time, increase my efficiency. Now, Gabbro, uh, where are you at? There you are. I used to think that your flute was quantum noise. The only thing that gave it away was the fact that you show up on the Outer Wilds frequency. All right, here we are. Ooh, there is, I've just realized something. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I noticed this before. There is a cave off to the side here. Ghost matter inside, but maybe there's something to be seen there. 
Yeah, even though I am ahead on the recording, uh, I'm just going to keep playing this consistently, not only because that stuff can catch up on you really quickly, uh, but because I think with a game like this, it's not a good idea to stay away for a long time, uh, lest I forget what I was doing. Yo, Gabro. Uh, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay. Close your eyes. Hmm, I wonder if we're actually learning some new ability. Oh, I see. Alright, he's basically acting as, like, a loop reset. Okay, but I have to say, in the context of that, it really does dispel the fact that you did just die. Like, that honestly felt just like going to sleep. Meditate until next loop. Cool, we actually did learn a new ability. Our first real, like, upgrade. Then again, I have talked before about how the upgrades in this game really are just your own knowledge more than anything. Which is a really cool way to go about it. You have access to pretty much everything right from the beginning. It's just about your knowledge of the system increasing. Let's have a look at what we've learned. Yeah, the statue island is what we need more of. We need to learn more about the statue workshop. There's actually a lot for us still to learn. I'm viewing my ship log not very often. The reason for that is because... I do like just following things as they come up, but I really like the way this game is organized. I have never been completely stumped, because everywhere you go, you find the beginnings of all these different threads. And so, even if you do feel like you're not really getting any more out of a given location, you can always just look at your log, and it'll give you a bunch of ideas for different things you can do. And so, the game actually averts one of what would have been its greatest weaknesses. It could have very easily become confusing, or you're like stuck not knowing where to go. But they accounted for that. This game has a lot of, I mean, despite how little it tells you, it really is great at allowing you to take things at your own pace, even if you don't know something, that's kind of okay, because you'll figure it out when you need it. And it has a lot of things to prevent you from getting lost. It sort of reminds me of... I feel like I listened to a Valve developer commentary some time ago, and it basically talked about the way they handled deaths in Team Fortress 2. And basically, they do a thing where they make it hilarious, and they show you why you died. And in doing so, it makes it a lot less frustrating. And they kind of make it like part of the experience so that you don't feel like you've lost anything. Like, I always get annoyed in games when I feel like they're wasting my time by having like a long time between checkpoints or making me lose like a certain number of items or whatever. Games like this, there's no loss, there's just learning. And so every failure is actually part of the experience. And that's not only a good thing for game design, it's a good thing for the aesthetic of space travel. Okay, uh, I found something. I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see them doing that. <laughs> not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. You're everything I wish to be. Do you think the statues are recording our memories, then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. I love that thought so much. Okay, I'm actually going to... Hang on. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to the ship right now, because I've just been reminded. Uh, there was discussion on the Discord, which... Why haven't you joined that yet? Uh, about how I may miss some things if I don't enable time in dialogue. And so, I want to keep it off for for reading, but as far as dialogue, how often do I actually talk to people? 
So let's do uh, freeze time while talking to others. Let's turn that back off. Because they said there's potential I might miss certain things. Uh, I found your ship. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? Honestly, I have never loved sentient beings more than the Herthians and the Nomai. I really hope these two species can meet at some point. Uh, okay, I found something. Was there something else for it? No, I think that's all of it. Okay. Well, we learned a lot. We gained some new abilities, but I think it's time for us to head back there. Actually, no. Or maybe yes? I forgot this is a new loot. Let's get back to the statue place and see if we can't get picked up again, because I think that's the only time we'll have even a chance to make it up onto that platform. See, I sort of wish there was, and I don't know if there is or not, a clock so that I could determine exactly when certain events will happen, when things will fall into place in a certain way. But getting up there are gonna be really, really difficult. I don't see any way in from the top. I don't see anything that would be like potentially breakable. But waiting for this is not going to be the easiest thing. See, this is called the Ash Twin Projection Stone, so this has got to be within Ash Twin, right? There goes we. But it's seeing something that it really shouldn't be seeing. I mean, it has an atmosphere. Very, very weird, and I think whatever this is is part of whatever's going on here, like, in a big way. Wait, why- why has that happened? Why has that happened? Why have those come on? Do they trigger when a storm has passed over it? Oh, I see! I see! These hold you in place! They keep you safe from the water, from the gravitational effects. That's what these are. These are storm shelters. That is so cool. I love this game. All right, uh, boop, boop, boop. I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? Yes. As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. Look, I don't have time to play Soma. I imagine there are two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe that this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? The result may be identical. The question is really a matter of perception. When you leave the future, or rather when your memories are sent back, do you continue to perceive, or does one that ceases to perceive get left behind? All right, well, we finally figured out the rest of this. Unfortunately, it didn't really tell us a whole lot. Nothing that's going to go in the log, just some philosophizing, although we did learn a little bit more about these structures. See, these things are quite confusing to me. They have writing on them, but I'm not sure if they only show up at a certain time, or you know what? You probably have to complete certain actions for them to activate. I bet this will come up if this teleport is used, because there was also one at the one on Brittle Hollow. All right, so... Now I'm not sure what to do from here. This one says the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Maybe we should look for that. And you know, that's actually reminding me right now. There are actually at least one or two places on Timber Hearth that we never did actually explore. Hang on, let's head over there for the rest of this loop. I should probably start setting a timer. I'm pretty sure a loop is like 20 minutes and change. 
I've never actually counted. Yeah, I have long been wondering what all of this here is about. Oh, there's like a tree fort or something. And a path through to something else over there. I haven't actually looked for the quantum signal yet, but maybe worth doing. Of course, once we have that quantum signal, we're really going to want to make sure we retain line of sight. Now, what are we looking for here? And actually... Hmm. Well, that could actually potentially be the one on one of the twins. Uh, what about quantum fluctuations? Yeah. It's quite close indeed, actually. I think it's through there. But before we go after that, let's try and climb this thing and see what we can see. This is unambiguously one of our constructions. Wonder if maybe there will be some information at the top of this? Maybe somebody's recorded observations? Oops. What a place, and what a view. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it. But hopefully studying the signal from the grove will reveal more about it. Okay, let's head down there. Uh... On my own elevator. Let's see what this is all about. There's that shard. But the question is, what is there to be learned from it? It seems the same as some of the ones we found on the other planets. Also, I wonder if it'll have the same effect on the trees here as the ones in uh, Brittle Hollow. I look away. There you go. I am not sure. It might have moved some of these trees. Oh, there you are over there. There's even the one that we have in the display in the other place. So it's not the only sample here on Timber Hearth. Okay. Probably going to die. Probably going to die. But I've yet to actually try jumping down into one of these hot springs. Geysers, I mean. Even the sign disappeared. Everything here gains these properties. Actually, did the geyser move as well? If so, that is nuts. This whole grove is an anomaly. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Across old bark, the quiet shade. Oh, and I did just get a ship log update from that observation. Okay, where is... There's the geyser. Yep. Uh... Was it just not drawing the... Water there? Yep, it's drawing the water that time. Ooh, and we get launched actually quite a ways. Okay, let's make our way back to our ship. Although, I think maybe now might actually be a good time for meditation more than anything. Uh, but let's take this chance to read our log first. No reason to cut into tomorrow's time. I kind of get the feeling I was meant to head to Giant Steep and find Gabbro much longer ago than I did. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Yeah, I do wonder what the significance of that is. And the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, that's on Brittle Hollow. Uh, yeah, allegedly there's a path there. I still have not yet figured out how to get there. Hmm, hello. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. I didn't see that. They descended inside to investigate, 
either I just missed it completely, or that's something that will reveal itself with time. I mean, the ice was changing. Okay, I'm now realizing that the green exclamation mark is actually... It's just saying if I've read the entry or not. And the orange is what tells me there's more to explore here. Okay. There's more on Gabro's Island, even. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run around to all these kind of little chores that I have around. And if they bear any fruit, I'll show you. If not, I'll just kind of skip through it. Wait. Wait, look, we can see lightning down there. Didn't we see that in one of the visions we had on the Orbital Cannon Station? I think that must be where that module ended up. Not out in space, but in the core. Okay, now this is a problem though. I don't know if this is a bug or what? But I was completely unable to rise. Well, that problem's been solved for me. Where's my ship? Did my ship end up in space? Because if so, that's actually more convenient. Oh no, there it is. It's still on the island. Let's see if we can't launch the scout down here. And have a look for what may perhaps be a way in. Like, what'll the entrance look like from here? Perhaps that's an elevator in the middle? But if we can launch, let's see what kind of angle we can get. If we can launch right here. There we are. We can see down there. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us a whole ton. Now, here's something I've never followed up on. We haven't been back here since pretty much the beginning of the series, but we do have that writing basically saying that uh, one of the Nomai disappeared at the bottom of this dry lake bed, which I now know from the compass is the North Pole. So if we can make our way down just a bit... We've never actually been to the bottom of this. Was it at the very, very bottom? Oh, but it is filling with sand. Maybe we'll have to go around again in order to make the most of this. Alright, this time in the interest of time, let's see if we can't take our ship in. Now what is at the bottom of this pit? Ah, it goes deeper still. All right, let's just wedge our ship in here. Who cares? It's not like we're going to survive this loop anyway. It's not like we've survived any loop anyway. Yep. Well, into the horrible unknown. God, it is dark in here, even with the flashlight. This is quite exciting. Uh, this may lead even to the core. Oh, it's pitch black. It is pitch, pitch black. And we don't have a long time until this place starts filling up with sand. Let's make sure we look up as well because we don't want to miss anything. And how do I know where we're even going? Also, I'm getting some weird effects. It's like I'm being picked up from time to time. Probably because we're so close to the core. Oh no, are we heading back out? Come on, what's down here? it is. Come on, I don't understand what the purpose of this place is. Oh wait, I have made my way through. Alright, um... We gotta go through here. Alright. Uh, and we've gotta start making our way up then, right? 
Oh, this chamber must be huge. Sand is all... Oh, it's a, it's a river of sand. It's gonna really impede our progress. Oh no, I'm stuck. Alright, let me out, let me out. Falling back down some more. I can't see anything. Alright, we need here to rest. We need to platform this. We need to know what we're doing, planet, in advance. Hop to you. Uh, that'll be the next one. Where does this all go, though? It's a race against the clock. These are the literal sands of time, almost. It's like that sign in the other cave said, we must be careful but swift. Question is, where does all this lead? Is this some place we've been before? I don't think it will be. I do think this is going to be something new, unless it connects to the sunken city in some way. We can't get through there, but it's going to be all we can do. Maybe we just have to go for it? Unless there's some other vertical shaft we can use. It's not looking like it. Wait. Wait, what's happening? There's something quantum going on here. Has that always been in play? Oh, boy. Wow, that's annoying. Okay, uh, kind of cool, but annoying. All right, let me through. I don't have so much oxygen left, and I gotta get somewhere soon. Yes! Let me through. Oh, this is sick! But there must be some kind of quantum shard nearby for this to be the case. Unfortunately, I think I found your friends. If you've come here to look for Coleus... This is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange, wandering rock friend is here. Though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual-looking rock shard, and several smaller rocks, in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Oh, it's relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When it lit again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Can we get the rock to appear? Yes, we can! Alright, uh, we do have an elevator that we can manipulate, presumably. Oh, it's a light. I see, but, uh... It's another one of those things where we don't really learn anything. Unless we can accomplish something by landing on the rock itself. Actually, wait. What if we were to turn the light off? I don't remember if it was on when I entered the chamber or not. Oh, and I just realized the light switch itself moves as well. Alright, I don't know what else to do with this, though. See, that's the thing, is I feel like it has to have something to do... There, there's a reason there's a light here. Yep, that's why... Oh, that's what I was missing, the flashlight! Whoa. But when I leave... When I get off the stone, that happens. I think I might have actually just been booted by it. Okay, wait, so if I stand here... Now we're in a different location! The sunken city, maybe, even. And I can lift off. Alright, I'm not sure where this is exactly. 
Maybe this? Oh wait, no. I think this is the cave that they talked about losing Coleus in the first place. Yes, 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 yes! It's the darkness! That's how you do it! It has to be completely unobserved. Oh, this is so cool. This is a huge discovery. Maybe we can even do this with different shards as well. Back to here. Back to here. Yes, okay. But this is a different spot. This is... Actually, what was this? Is this something new? Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave at the bottom of the blah 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 several days ago. Help us recover Coleus. I think I found this earlier. I think this is in the crash landing cave. Yes, okay. Let's see where else this can take us. This, I think, may be someplace new. Yeah, this is new. How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. They did say it happened when their lantern went out, so the clues were there. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock. As long as I'm not observing my surroundings, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melloray is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Useful is right. Okay, this actually is a major breakthrough. A major breakthrough. There's quantum shards all over the place, and... Yeah, we can definitely use this for something. But right now, I think it would be a good idea for us to head on out of here. And get ourselves back to the campfire so we can refuel. Oh, there goes the interloper. Maybe, perhaps, we should chase it down. Hang on, uh, let's head over to our ship, because it has been a lot of time now. Thankfully, the sands have actually delivered my ship back to me. I am really starting to feel one with the universe in this one. All right, let's take off, fly out of this canyon, and try and get an intercept with the interloper, which has already gotten quite a bit of distance on us. Wow. I am going to use the autopilot for this, because I don't know how much time we have left in this particular run. And a comet is quite an easy thing to miss. Uh, autopilot? Autopilot! Autopilot, okay, dodge. I don't trust it to make that. I don't trust it to make that. I don't know if it accounts for, because I've already had a couple of issues with it, just messing around. And I don't know if I trust it to actually make that. Now, on its sunward side, they found a fissure. Where? Where is that fissure? Perhaps it recedes when it's closest to the sun. There's that place again. I'm not sure what that is. I, I was thinking that I would do the DLC stuff last, and I haven't been over there much because I'm afraid that that's the DLC stuff. Mostly because it looks horrifying, and the DLC is apparently very horror-focused. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's when this thing passes by Ember Twin that I need to be here. Because I feel like these ice levels probably do recede. 
That was a real weird effect, watching that thing pass in front of the sun like that. Oh, look at that. It's like cell division. And weirdly enough, I have locked onto this thing several times, and it doesn't even give us a name. Passing pretty close by to Dark Bramble again. Wow, I wonder if it is actually possible to get so close that you start to see anglerfish swimming amongst it. Well, I say swimming. Oh, uh oh. Are we about to make impact with Giant's Deep? Uh, my ship certainly is. Uh, give- no, 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 the gravity, the gravity, the gravity, the gravity! Oh, that is some nonsense. Uh, I'm not sure what I could have done about that. Man, this is disorienting. I'm trying to make my way back. Maybe it would be better to try and head for the ship, because the ship didn't end up on Giant Steep. It ended up just, like, in space. But I think at this point I'm committed. It kind of sucks that I can't boost. Nope, nope, this is over. What happens if we try to chase down that probe? Oh, it's definitely not going to let me lock onto it. But we could try it. Where does it actually go? I would imagine it's moving much, much faster than I can actually catch up with. Especially since I can't see its speed relative to me. Wait. Perhaps I can catch it? Perhaps I actually can. No, abort autopilot. What are you doing? Yeah, we can actually go after it. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, and we can actually lock onto it. It's just a very small target. Alright, let's kill our relative velocity. Put on our suit and have a look at it. This is what they destroyed the probe cannon for. What makes it so worth it? Maybe it's not a question of what it is, but where it's going. Uh... No? What if we fly into it? No? Okay, so is there any point to chasing this thing down? Something here. That symbol again, but... Nothing to actually help me. Maybe we are just supposed to follow this thing? Wow, we are the farthest we've ever been. Giant Steep is the odd one out, I think. There we go. We already have the achievement, but it's our first time getting to actually listen to it. And I think this is a good place to end this one. We didn't travel far, well, we have now, but we learned a lot. We learned a tremendous amount. And it's given me many more ideas for things to try. But that'll be next time. Until then, if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.